morning, a first grade art project has two parents so angry they are moving their son to another school in another city. This is the hat six-year-old Dallas Smith wore home Monday from his Fort Scott Elementary School. He made it in art class. It was part of a project to teach principles of shape, symmetry, and texture. And when Dallas wore his mask home, his parents were outraged. They confronted the principal, who apologized. Still, Smith and his wife are moving their son to a school in Pittsburgh, just a little further south than Fort Scott. It appears to look like a Ku Klux Klan hat, which is a heck of a thing to put on a six-year-old boy. District administrators say discrimination is not and will not be tolerated in any Fort Scott school. Smith says he is using this situation as an opportunity to teach his son about race relations. Fort Scott is about 100 miles south of Kansas City. Our viewers are weighing in on the story on our Facebook page for a check of what people are saying. Let's head down to web producer Aaron Heinzelman with this morning's viewer's voice. Um, an interesting thought. I bet a lot of people have an opinion about this one, Aaron. Yeah, they sure do, Chris. Uh, most of them are pretty much the same. Let's go ahead and see what they're saying on Facebook.com slash NBC Action News. Christy Bowker Rail writes in part, the kids had no clue what the mask may represent. To them, it was just an art project, a pointy hat. She goes on to say, why rip the child out of his school away from other kids he knows? Jim Weekamp, he says, sounds like the parents are idiots. The kids, the kids made a mask just to cry for attention by the parents. And Cassidy Gardner has this to say, I think this is an example of people making something a race issue when there's no issue to begin with. She's on to say, I think the child was just using his imagination and making something he liked. Now, if you want to share your opinion on this story, you can head to our website or write to facebook.com slash NBC Action News. In the newsroom with this morning's viewer's voice, I'm Aaron Heinzelman. Hey, Aaron, anyone else uh, comment saying that uh, this is inappropriate? Uh, not that I've seen. We've got 15 comments. I've been looking. I've been looking through them, and um, pretty much pre uh, all the same opinions. All righty. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate mm -hmm. it.